Hey everybody, I'm Jessica Perrier, otherwise known as Jessica Posh, and I'm the Platinum Plus leader of my team of Poshpreneurs. We are focusing on hitting $500 in PV, and I wanted to make a little video with a couple of tips for you. So I was in Sephora yesterday, and when I was checking out, once I entered my Beauty Insider information, the lady at checkout let me know that I was pre-approved for a Sephora card. Like a Sephora credit card. So here's my response. Really? That's a thing? And here's her response. Yes, it just launched. You even get 15% off your first purchase. That's it, you guys. She shared about the Sephora card. She most definitely did not sell me, and just so we're clear, I totally want and would use a Sephora credit card. I shop there all the time. And typically, when you have a store credit card, you get extra benefits. And personally, I'm all about that VIP lifestyle. So that got me to thinking, you know, I've done a lot of training videos about sharing versus selling. We share Posh, we don't sell it, right? Posh sells itself, right? Right. Okay, now I stand by those trainings, but I'd also like to make it clear that that doesn't mean I'm against selling. Selling doesn't have to be a bad thing. While you don't have to be a salesperson at all to join Posh, that doesn't mean that you can't hone your skills and become one. Right? Okay, selling is not a bad thing. When you are selling from your soul, <laughs> something that you believe in, that you love, that you use, that you would recommend to your mama, and you sell that something, those somethings, to someone that needs, wants, desires, the feeling that it evokes, right? The scent that it offers, the results that it can deliver. I mean, what's wrong with that, right? <laughs> Wouldn't we all be a little better off if anyone representing a product was selling from their soul? Okay, I got a little excited there. But might you guys agree that the Sephora lady did me a disservice by not elaborating about this pre-approval? She might have said something like this. You'd already be saving $20. Did you have any other items you might like to stock up on? Or I see you've already spent $300 this year. You're a perfect match for the Sephora card. Well, yes, I am. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> In our business at Posh, we might say something um, like an equivalent, like, I know how much you love coconut, so I just knew you'd have to have this new coconut product. <laughs> or, oh my god, I've seriously met the best internet friends through my Posh team. It's our job to get people excited, right? It's our job to sell. Just to qualify myself, you guys, <laughs> I've consistently been recognized as a top recruiter for years. And I can tell you it's not because I'm magical, and it's also not because I have a YouTube channel. I mean, both of those things help for sure, but really it's because I believe with every fiber of my being that this opportunity is truly everything you could ever dream of when you believe in it, when you believe in yourself. I like to say, feel the fear, have the doubts, and do it anyway. True story. My internet friend that I only knew from a Facebook group, Tracy, met up with me for lunch when I moved to California. She tried to share her hand cream with me when we met up the very first time in person ever. And guess what? I wasn't interested. <laughs> about a month later at the next lunch, she chatted about how much she loved her little posh business, and I smiled and nodded like I cared. Spoiler alert, I did not. <laughs> you guys, I did not even try her hand cream <laughs> until I was at a posh party that another one of my friends had with a totally different consultant. I was just there for the girl time. I didn't even know that it was going to be a posh party until I arrived. But they basically had me captive at that point, so I had to try it. So I tried it. And you know what? I was impressed. And I told that consultant that night, at the time, I have a posh lady. And guys, I had never tried posh before. But my internet friend that I had met in real life a total of three times talked about her posh business and products that I had no interest in at all with such passion and happiness that when the universe finally put Posh literally under my nose, I thought of her. And today, she's my sponsor. And you know what? Just for the record, I bet she's glad she put herself out there repeatedly with me, right? We have the opportunity to do that with our business every single day. More than a choice, it's a feeling that you have. Do you absolutely love your product? It can be one product. It could be the opportunity. It can be a line. It can be just feeling posh. Whatever it is, you have to love it and let it fuel your fire. Now, I don't care if you want to call it sharing or selling, but don't be a Sephora lady, be a Tracy. I hope my little story and my tips are helpful to you guys. It's really important to know that you can sell as much posh as you want every single month, right? And whether you want to call it sharing or selling, it's the same thing. <laughs>
Thanks so much for taking the time to watch my tips and listen to my little story. Best of luck to you and your business. You can do it.